Just one day left at 7 p.m. We're going to introduce you to our seven year old Gigi from Huntersville. Three years ago, she's diagnosed with a rare brain tumor. Well, where her journey stands today and what she has to say to the doctors and nurses of St. Jude. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., the early bird gets the worm. <laughs> Well, the Northwest Charlotte community in shock today after a child was found unresponsive in a neighborhood pool and rushed to the hospital. It happened last night. Scary situation. and emergency crews were called to the Riverbend neighborhood pool just before 730 last night. WBTV's Caroline Hicks on your side speaking with people in that neighborhood as well as county officials. She joins us now live. So, Caroline, do we know how that child is doing this evening? Well, Siobhan, tonight we are working to learn how that six year old boy is doing. At this point, all we know is he was rushed to the hospital by medic with what they are calling life threatening injuries. Now you can see by this sign outside of the pool that they do not have any lifeguards this season. Tonight I'm speaking with county officials about what they are trying to do to ensure tragedies like this one do not happen. A quiet morning at the Riverbend neighborhood pool closed for the day hours after a child was found unresponsive. The Riverbend Homeowners Association posted on Facebook that they are working closely with swim management and local authorities to determine what happened. Parent to parent. I'm sorry it happened. We spoke with one mother who takes her kids to this pool regularly. You know that there's not a lifeguard, and I personally think the parents should be in the water with you at all times. Michael Johnson, the senior aquatic supervisor for Mecklenburg County Aquatics, says he was saddened to get the alert to this incident Monday night. I think it's probably nerve wracking for the neighborhood. Johnson says vigilance is key, whether a lifeguard is on duty or not. You know where your kids are, you know, get out of the books. Get Get off of the cell phones. He also wants families to take advantage of the free swim lessons Mecklenburg County offers each summer. The first thing that we teach our kids is to make sure that they're asking for permission to enter the water. He also recommends bright colored clothing, a Coast Guard approved flotation device and eyes on your kids at all times. So a person can, can go into distress in less than 10 seconds and they can submerge in less than 20. Now, according to Johnson, Mecklenburg County actually did not struggle with a lifeguard shortage this summer. He says they're now paying those seasonal lifeguards $20 an hour, but he says not all smaller pools can do that, and so some of them are dealing with a shortage. Now, for details on those free swim lessons, go to our website, WBTV.com. We will post the details on this story. For now, I'm reporting live in Northwest Charlotte. Caroline Hicks, WBTV, on your side.